Hello everybody, welcome to Auto Trader's Ultimate Car Hunt Live. I'm Alex Legui. And I'm Rory Reid. And today we are hosting a very special kind of Easter egg hunt where you could win a fabulous pre-loved car. Yes, that's right. By the time your lunch is over, we're hoping that one of you watching right now will be driving away a fantastic Tesla Model Y. So stick around and tell your friends, family and colleagues to join us. We're live across Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram and X or Twitter. Um, and even if you don't manage to win our car, there are plenty of opportunities to get involved and additional prizes worth more than £5,000. £5,000? <laughs> right, as long as you're in the UK, you're eligible to win. There's a link to all our competition rules and terms and conditions in the chat. So whatever platform you're watching us on, stay with us, get involved. So, Alex, the question everyone is asking, how can they win the car? Yeah, well, we thought it might be a good idea to put together a quick video that explains everything. Let's take a look. We've hidden a Tesla Model Y somewhere in the UK, ready to be won. All you need to do is find it and work out the car's Auto Trader valuation. But don't worry, we'll help you with that second bit. This is the Auto Trader Ultimate Car Hunt Live. As you crack puzzles and play games, we'll reveal the three key pieces of information that you need to win the car. The mileage, its registration plate and its location. When you've got all that, enter the information into the Auto Trader valuation tool to find out the car's current value. That is your ticket to win the Tesla. Then then get to the location, tell us the value live on air, and we'll give you the keys. But that's not all, because there are over £5,000 of additional prizes to be won, so even if you can't make it to the car, you could still be a winner. This is the Auto Trader Ultimate Car Hunt Live. So it's the first person to turn up and provide the correct valuation wins. Yeah, that's right. And here's a tip. If you go to the Auto Trader website and create an account and sign in now, when the time comes to generate a valuation, you'll be able to do that a lot faster. But don't try and do it via the app. It has to be via the desktop website or the mobile web. We're going to keep a link pinned to the stream or the chat for easy reference or so you can bookmark it right now for later on. Is that it? Anything else people should know? Um, yeah. Bring your driving license with you, otherwise you won't be able to win. And if you find the car, you only have one chance, one chance to provide the correct valuation. Get it wrong and it's straight to the back of the queue. Mm -hmm. I would recommend having a pen and paper handy so that you can write down all of the relevant info as we go along and you can start to piece the information together. Now, of course, you can ask us questions throughout, so keep using the comments, and we'll be gonna, we're going to be reading out the best ones as we go along as well. <laughs> it's an amazing prize, but that is not all we're giving away on the show today. So not everybody who's watching will obviously be able to drop everything and head out the door, but we've got over £5,000 worth of additional prizes. £5,000! <laughs> <laughs> and if you're just playing along for fun, you can help by guessing where you think the car might be hidden. So we, we will be monitoring your comments yep. um, and pinning some of your guesses to our map. Um, I think we should find out a little bit more about our prize car. Yeah. All right. Well, you know me, Alex. There's, uh, there's nothing more I like more than putting the car through its paces uh, so the auto trader audience can choose the right car for them. So I, I actually spent a day with our Tesla Model Y. And keep your eyes peeled while you watch this video because we might just have hidden a few clues along the way. So what you're saying is there are definitely some clues coming up, right? 100%. Take a look. So here it is, the Tesla Model Y. This exact Tesla Model Y is the one we're going to be giving away today. You, yes you, could be driving away in this very vehicle before you've even had your dinner. You could take it somewhere nice to celebrate, like... um. Greg's or the Ivy, any way you like, really. So remember, all you need to know is the registration plate and the mileage of this Model Y. Then use the Auto Trade Evaluation tool to find out exactly what it's worth. Once you've done that, head over to meet us at the car's secret location. And if you're the first person to tell us the right valuation, it's yours. Alex and I will be giving you clues to the reg, mileage and location over the next few minutes so keep your eyes peeled. Although there might be a few red herrings in there, so you have to watch all three parts of the review to build a picture and solve the puzzle. And here it is. I'm sure you're familiar with it by now because this is Tesla's best-selling car. In fact, it was the best-selling car in the world full stop last year. People went mad for it. 
The reason for that is clear. Tesla basically took the extremely popular Model 3, then made it a whole lot bigger and more practical, but charged just a little bit more for it. Alex will talk you through all the practicality stuff later on, but for now, let's talk about what an absolute thriller this car is to drive. It's incredibly quick. The thing don't stop till you get enough, especially this dual motor version because it's rapid, not to 60 in 4.8 seconds, but it feels even quicker than that because there's so much torque and it's very responsive on the throttle and there's so much traction because of the fact that it has all wheel drive. There's really no need for a family crossover to be this fast. That said, when it comes to charging speed, the faster the better. And the Model Y is one of the fastest. You can get 150 miles of range in just 15 minutes if you recharge the car from Tesla's supercharger network, or you can take it to pretty much any charging point that can cope with the car's 250 kilowatt charging speed. Tesla reckon this thing can go 331 miles on a full battery. That's the distance from Edinburgh to Birmingham. To be honest though, if you think this is gonna drive like a typical big fancy SUV, all luxurious and floaty, then you're wrong, I'm afraid, because that's not what this car is all about. The Model Y is firm. Scratch that, it's very firm, maybe too firm. You can feel every single lump and bump in the road. It feels more like a sports car than a family car. And that's not helped by the fact that the car also rides on really big wheels, either 19 or 20 inch alloys. It's not ideal for people who like a comfy ride. But that does at least make the Tesla Model Y feel more exciting to drive than most big crossovers. You might love it, or you might think it's a bit bobbins, but it's always interesting at least. You can definitely say the same thing about the interior. Love it or hate it, it draws a reaction. Let's take a look. Hi. Oh, where's Rory gone? Well, I'm here to talk about the main event inside the Tesla Model Y, this thing. And don't worry about Rory. I'm sure he's found something to keep himself occupied. Maybe he's found somewhere nice to get something to eat, possibly. Right, that's part one. We'll have the second installment coming up a bit later on in the stream. Did you spot any clues? There were a few in there. Any early guesses? Let us know in the comments where you think the car might be and we'll keep reading them out and pinning them on the map as we go. Remember T's and C's are in the chat for more details. So tell us where you think the car is and why in the comments below. We're randomly giving away 50 pound Amazon gift vouchers to 15 commenters and we'll be in contact after the live show to tell you how to claim your prize. So get your comments in. And here's some important information as well, depending on where you're watching the stream from today. Yeah, so if you're watching on YouTube, make sure that you've linked your email address with your YouTube account and that it's set to public, mm -hmm. as this is how we'll contact you if you've won a prize. On X, we will tag you in a post asking you to send us a DM if you've won a prize. And if you're on Facebook, we'll reply to your comment asking you to send us a DM if you've won. For our Instagram followers, we'll send you a direct message. And finally, if you're watching on TikTok, make sure you're following us so we can send you a DM if you're a winner. All winners will be contacted after the event. Hopefully, a few of our viewers are starting to put two and two together in their search for the Tesla. But as we said at the top of the show, we want our UK viewers nationwide to be able to win prizes, even if they can't make it to our car's secret location. We mentioned that to win the car, you need to provide its correct valuation using the tool on the Auto Trader website. But if you'd like the chance to enter our prize draw, here's what you can do. Yes, so head over to the Auto Trader website while we're live and enter your car's registration plate and mileage details into the online valuation tool. Okay. Hit the get valuation button, sign into your Auto Trader account yep. and we will send you an instant valuation. Anyone who forwards their valuation email to livestream at autotrader.co.uk between now and the end of our live show or sends a screenshot of their valuation will be entered into a prize draw and we will be selecting 30 winners at random to receive a £50 Amazon voucher. £50? £50! <laughs> T's and C's are pinned in the comments 
for more details. OK, as we're getting the ball rolling with these clues, shall we give our viewers a few more to go on? Yeah, let's give them a couple. Now, remember that to win the Tesla Model Y, you'll need to work out three things. Number one, where the car is hidden. Number two, the car's registration number. And number three, the car's current mileage. Without the registration and the mileage, you won't be able to provide us with the correct auto trade evaluation using the tool on the website. But first, you need to work out where it is. So let's start narrowing down the location a little bit. We're going to give you clues throughout the stream. And here's your first one. If you are south of Windermere or north of Coventry, <laughs> you could make it to our car's location in the next two hours. OK, so looking at the map, where are we looking? Where are we looking at, Rory? Where's, where's Windermere? I think Windermere's probably some, somewhere up there. In, All right, uh, yeah, know, yeah. In, 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 I don't know. OK, that's a start. Let's try another one. <laughs> uh, so starting from Marble Arch in central London, do you know where that is? Definitely know that one. Mm -hmm. yep. um, your passengers could watch the whole of Zack Snyder's Justice League before arriving at the secret location. How long is Justice League? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's all a bit cryptic. It's all a bit cryptic, isn't it? We don't know. Should we have one more? <laughs> yes. If we saw this road sign, where might uh -huh. we be heading? Okay, so what do we know about the M62? Well, it is, it is a motorway. That's a really good start, Rory. Well done. It's 106 miles long and it runs west to east from Liverpool to Hull. It also connects Manchester, Bradford, Leeds and Wakefield. Any ideas? Tell us in the comments where you think it might be. Do we have any comments yet? OK, we're getting a few comments coming through. Uh, oh, we got Greater London. We no, got... Right. Um, we know that we... We know that it's a film away from London, right? Right, okay. Birmingham. Mm, mm, mm. Interesting. Bedfordshire, Windsor. Edinburgh. We've got, we got Leeds, we've got Sunderland, we've got Manchester. Okay. Interesting, interesting. All right. So if you just joined us, let's have a quick recap, shall yep. we? Here's everything you need to know about today's show. Uh, at some point this afternoon, one viewer watching this is going to win a Tesla Model Y. That's for sure. To win, you need to work out where our Tesla Model Y is located, come to the location with its auto trade evaluation. You'll need to know the car's registration and its mileage and have a full UK driving license on you, OK? We'll be giving out plenty of clues to help you along the way. But that is not all we're giving away on the show today. So not everybody who's watching will obviously be able to drop everything and just head out the door. But we've got over £5,000 worth of additional prizes on Five grand. Offer. Five grand. And here is your opportunity to win some of those prizes. Now, here at Auto Trader, we love films and we love cars, obviously. So we have combined the two. All you need to do is replace a word in a film title with the name of a car manufacturer or model to make us laugh or nod knowingly. OK, acknowledge it. All right. Acknowledge. For example. Uh, so how about Silence of the Lamborghinis? That's good. That is good, that right? That is quite good. That is good. Lamborghinis um, aren't, aren't silent, though. <laughs> pulp. Fiesta. That's pretty good. Um, there are some good comments coming in. We've got Ferrari and Furious. That's not bad. Alfa Romeo and Juliet. That's a brilliant one. <laughs> Peugeot Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> ah! The Greatest Shogun. Oh, I oh, like that's that. Good. I like that. That's really good. Sang Young of the Sea. Okay. Saving ha Private Reliance. Oh, oh! I love that. That's genius. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Alfa Romeo. <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh or cry at that one. It's a bit of a stretch. Ford of the Rings. That's nice, that's nice. Can you come up with any? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, Guardians of the... Hang on, hang on. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Guardians of the Ford Galaxy. That's pretty decent. That's, that's, pretty good. Decent. <laughs> that's a good one, yeah. right? You've got me thinking now. You've actually inspired me. I wish I was more creative, but um, no, there's some, some incredible guesses. Uh, okay, Ford Kung Fu Panda. Ford that's Kung all right. Fu Panda. Fiat Shades of Grey. Okay, yeah, nice. that's okay. acceptable. 
There's some good ones. You lot are actually quite good, aren't you? Jurassic Jeep. J Jurassic Jeep. Bugatti and the Beast. That is good. That's, I uh, say, yeah. That okay, that's good. Top Granada. Top oh, yeah. What's that from? What Top film gun. is that? Top Gun. No, that's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Top Shogun. All right, cool. All right, all right. Get your con get your suggestions in. We're going to be reading out some of our favourites, and then we'll be giving randomly away one hundred pound Amazon gift vouchers to ten lucky winners. How we'll contact the winners to claim their prize will differ depending on the platform that you're watching on. The relevant info should appear in a caption on your screen. So have a read. Now. You might be watching this stream on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, or X. If so, stick with us. But to win this next prize, you will need to be having a look at the Auto Trader Instagram. And if you're already on Instagram, great, happy days. Don't go anywhere. Don't worry if you don't have Instagram, because there are still plenty of prizes to be won across all the channels coming up shortly. So here goes. We are calling this one Fill Your Boots. Okay, so, Rory, one of the biggest considerations when buying a car... Is how fast it is. Especially if you've got children... Right, okay. <laughs> it's got to be fast if you're going on a school run. Is, is it big enough to put the <laughs> buggy in, all of the bags, the nappies, the wipes, okay. the luggage? Yeah, okay, luggage space is important. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Um, and the Tesla Model Y is a decent-sized family car. It's got a front trunk and a rear trunk. So what we want to know is... How much stuff can you fit in hmm. the boot? Specifically, because it's Easter, we want to know how many of these Easter eggs mm. we've put in the boot of our prized Tesla. Pictures on your screen right now. Yeah, so here's what the fully loaded boot looks like. And you can also find a video on the Autotrader Instagram if you want to get a closer look. When you think you know how many Easter eggs there might be in total, post your best guess in the comments on the live stream using the hashtag FillYourBoots. Right, let's make this absolutely clear so everyone understands. You need to go on Instagram right now, guess how many Easter eggs there are in the boot with that hashtag and then you'll be in with a chance to win a massive £500 Amazon gift voucher. If no one guesses the exact number, we'll pick the closest one. Terms and conditions are, of course, pinned in the comments for more details. Should we have another look at the image? Yes, let's have a look. Right. Right, how many? How many? I'm Go gonna, on. Give, I'm, I'm, let's 100? see if I can work this out now. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in that corner. Boot's quite deep, so maybe 20. 20, 40, 60, 80, and then you've got another <laughs> layer on top, so that's 160, and then add a thousand. Gotta be. Add a thousand, because it goes quite high. Uh, I don't I don't know. Ten, five thousand? I don't know. <laughs> Brilliant, after all that. So you're not creative or, or math, math, mathematical. mathematical. <laughs> okay, we got some guesses coming in. We got okay. some guesses coming in. Uh, right, uh, 5,550. I don't know. Mm, That's okay. not too bad. It's, it's, it, it could be right. Uh, 10,000. 21. <laughs> Definitely not 21. <laughs> 9,842. 1 million. 1 million is, is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, slightly off. Okay. Unless there are eggs within eggs. Do you think you win all the eggs as well? Mm, we can make that happen. We can, No, because I want... I'm hoping <laughs> that there might be a loo left over that we could eat. 34,000. 5,020. That seems more more accurate don't um, you think okay all right it's 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 kind of all over the place <laughs> yeah it's definitely um. not 24. <laughs> <laughs> uh good okay if your boots are sufficiently filled uh, we have another game for you to play this game is called yes or no do you like a game of yes or no no yes Good. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> so this is your chance to put some questions to Rory and I to see if you can narrow down the car's location. And it's an opportunity for all our viewers to win some prizes in the process. So post your questions in the comments. We will pick out 10 and give you yes, no answers. Four, and they have to be truthful. For example, is the car parked somewhere between Dundee and Oxford, Rory. 
You're asking me this, right? Yes. Is the car parked between Dundee and I think Oxford's down yonder there? Uh, yes, it is. Ooh, okay, thank you. That's very helpful. Uh, any questions that we read out, we will see your name, obviously. So that will enter you into the prize draw. Um, so get creative with your suggestions. We've got a few more examples as well to get things going. I'm going to ask you a question, Alex. Alex, is the car located more than three hours drive from London? It depends on who's driving. I'm driving. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, technically it should be okay. more than three hours drive from London. Okay, so that, that's... Uh, mm. You know where London okay, is, Okay, interesting. Right? Um, okay, all right, go on for me. Uh, is the car parked on someone's drive, like outside their house? No. Mm. So you get the idea, right? Now let's have some of yours. We're going to be randomly giving away... £100 Amazon gift vouchers to 10 lucky winners who send a question in the comments. And remember, if we read out your comment, it doesn't mean you're a winner. What it means is that we're going to contact winners to claim their prize um, and it will differ depending on the platform that you're watching on the stream today. So check the info on the screen or in the comments for all the details that you need to know. I've actually got a few yes no questions. Okay, <laughs> this is a good one. We, it... have, we have to answer these truthfully as well, by the way. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I don't know the answer to this. Is it raining where it's parked? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any windows. That, in here. That, that doesn't really narrow it down, so. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the, answer the, answer no. is, the answer is no. The answer is no, and probably, it probably will be shortly, knowing. Is it parked in France? It is no. No, it's no. definitely not parked in France. Uh, is it near Dundee? Uh, Dundee is up there. Ooh. Is it near Dundee? What is near? How do we define near? Uh, let's no, go no. It's not. Let's go no. It's not near Dundee. Uh, is it near York? York mm, would be... Where's warmer. York? All right, where's York? Is it in the middle? It's up. Uh, it stop, no, stop, Down. there. There. Oh my God, Rory. My <laughs> geography's terrible. Someone needs to go back to school. Uh, you, it, it's not no, a, no, no. Not no. a million miles away from... Does the town have an N in its name? Yes. Yes. That doesn't really narrow it down, though, but yes, it does. Oh, I don't know. Um, is it near a Premier League football stadium? Yes. <laughs> yes That's a good one. Yeah, that I like is. That. I like that. Uh, Again, it doesn't narrow it down, but yes, it is. Is it in a postcode beginning with M? I have to, I have to answer truthfully, yes. Mm. Is it? Are you sure? I don't think, I don't know. What did you say? N, M. N for nothing. N for nothing? Yeah. No. No. No, no. it's not. Okay. Interesting. Um, is it near water? Did we do that one already? Is it near water? Uh, uh, yes, kind of, but not really at the same time. Let's yeah. move on. Don't, don't, yeah. I don't want anyway. to, we're giving it away. We're giving it away too much. Okay, Good so question. the time is 12.32, and if you're just joining us, you could still be in with a chance of winning a Tesla Model Y this afternoon. Here is everything that you need to know to be in with a chance of winning. We've hidden a Tesla Model Y somewhere in the UK ready to be won. All you've got to do is find it and work out the car's auto trader valuation. But we'll help you with that bit. This is the Auto Trader Ultimate Car Hunt Live. As you crack puzzles and play games, we'll reveal three vital pieces of information you'll need to win the car. It's mileage, it's registration, and it's location. Once you've got all of that, enter the info into the Auto Trade Evaluation tool to get its current value, and that's your ticket to win the Tesla. Then, get to the location, tell us the value, live on air, and we'll give you the keys. But that's not all. There's over £5,000 worth of additional prizes to be won. So even if you can't get to the location, you can still be a winner. This is the Auto Trader Ultimate Car Hunt Live. So that's our main competition, but stay tuned because we've got more clues coming right up and even more prizes that you can win. Here's an easy way to do exactly that. Hop over to the Auto Trader website. If you don't have an account, you can quickly create one and then sign in. Then you can go to the online valuation tool. If you complete a valuation while we're live and forward your email confirmation to us at livestream at autotrader.co.uk, you'll get added to a prize draw. Remember, 
you must do it via the website and not the app. We'll be selecting 30 participants at random to win a £50 Amazon gift voucher. So give it a go. That's definitely worth doing it. Now, earlier in the live stream, we had part one of our cryptic car clues video. Did you spot any in there? I hope so. But here is some hints if you missed it. Now, Rory, this is a really popular car, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and you even said earlier that people were mad for it. I did. I did say that. And that's a lot to do with the fact that it's such a thriller to drive. But you also think that it's a bit of a bumpy ride. What was the word you used to describe that? I think I used the word bobbin. Yeah, I thought you did. Yeah. Uh, right, so that's your recap. Now it's time for part two and keep your eyes peeled for more clues. OK, so finding a place to eat is just one of the many, many things that you can do with the massive screen that dominates the Model Y dashboard and controls virtually everything, really. The whole interior is basically the screen plus a steering wheel and a couple of stalks for the lights and indicators. But for me, and clearly for loads of Tesla owners too, a big part of the fun of this car is getting to know how it works, trying to figure out all the things that it can do. It does take a little bit of getting used to. I mean, you even have to use the screen to put on the windscreen wipers, and you have to look up there for your speedometer and other driver information. But all these things make for a really unique car, a really different experience. It's a bit like listening to the Bee Gees for the first time. You're like, ah? Why is he singing like that? And then get used to it and see it for what it is. Pure joy. And speaking of staying alive, the sheer size of the thing means it gives you loads of useful information just at a glance, especially safety stuff. The always on blind spot monitor is a great feature. The parking and blind spot cameras are gloriously high definition. The navigation map is huge and the aircon controls are pinned across the bottom, so they're easy to get to. So, let's assume you're okay with the firm ride that Rory mentioned earlier. You might even love feeling like you're sitting on a bass speaker at Creamfields, but the steering is unusually sporty too. It's just so sharp. You move the wheel an inch and the whole front moves loads. It's great around town, makes it feel very sharp and it manoeuvres really easily, like you're zipping around like a worker bee, but it just feels very highly strung for an SUV. It feels more edgy than relaxed. Lots about it is spot on though. Front visibility is amazing. The windscreen is massive. The dashboard is low and you sit really high. It makes you feel like you're as tall as the angel of the north towering over the road. Mind you, the rear screen is almost useless for visibility. There's no wiper and it's absolutely tiny. Which is not something you say about space in general in this thing. I mean, there's loads of it back here. Plenty of knee and head space. And the floor is really flat, which means that your feet will fit in, even if you're sitting in the middle seat. The seats recline a bit too, which is rather nice for relaxing and looking up at the sky. Have you noticed the entire roof is glass? And there are lots of convenience features back here too. There's a coat hook with a light. There's a pull down armrest with two cup holders. Good size seat pockets where you can put your Oasis vinyl in and two USB ports. The only thing that's not back here are climate controls. And guess where they are? Yeah, right up there in the screen. I mean, you can even open the glove box from the screen too. Did you know that was in there? Um, no. Why don't we do the boot test? OK. Despite all its party tricks, this here is the best thing about the Tesla Model Y. Massive 824-litre boot. And the thing that separates this from the Tesla Model 3 is that it's a hatchback which makes it so much more practical and easy to use. Not only that, but it has underfloor storage, these large cubby holes either side, and the rear bench, which splits into three parts. And when you fold them down, there's more than 2,000 litres of space in there. That means, in theory, you could fit more than 4,000 standard-sized bottles of pop if you poured out the contents. Probably don't do that, though. Right, have I done everything? I've shown you the front interior convenience features, phone charging capability, door pocket depth, 
my sandwich was it? I guess I'm done then. Oh, wait, exterior design. It ain't over till it's over. Thank you, Alex, for that rather excellent review of the Tesla Model Y. But did our audience manage to spot the clues which might help them work out where the car is located? If you didn't, don't worry, because we've got a lot more clues coming right up. OK, a few more clues. Earlier, we gave out our first three clues. If you're south of Windermere, I don't know where that is, <laughs> or you're north of Coventry, you could make it to our car's location in the next two hours. Starting at Marble Arch, that's down there somewhere in central <laughs> London, your passengers could watch the whole of Zack Snyder's Justice League before arriving at my secret location. And if you saw this road sign, where might I be heading? All right, let's have three more. Yeah, three more to really get things moving. Okay. Right, and if you've got an idea about where we might have stashed the Tesla, tell us in the comments and your guesses will get pinned to our map. Alex, are you kind of getting a sense of where people, you know, should be looking right now? Well, given the clues so far, we're probably looking somewhere along the M62 corridor, right? Okay, cool. All right, let's find out some more then. Clue number four is a picture clue. Do, 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 Let's take a look. Do, do. Right, that looks to me like a... It's a road sign, right? Yeah. Sort. A road sign for what exactly? Uh, EastEnders. EastEnders. Is that a clue? It look. I mean, it could be EastEnders. It could be, it could be another no, street. It could be, Ses it could be Sesame Street. It, it could be. And where, where is Sesame Street? I don't know. No one's ever told me how to get how to get to Sesame Street. Oh, do, do, right. do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So okay. that's going to be a clue, right? It's going to help you figure out the kind of rough region of where the car might be. Mm. Mm. Would you be able to work it out from that? If you squint, can you read that? Oh, yes. That is a thing, isn't it? Oh, my God. I just read it. <laughs> I might have given it away. Yeah. Don't squint. Well, I well do squint. Do squint. I, yeah, I can work it out. <laughs> It says Covent Garden. Yeah, yeah, it definitely doesn't doesn't say doesn't make a word for me. <laughs> Crow's Nest. <laughs> I don't know. Crow's Nest is a place. Is it? Where is Crow's Nest on the map? I don't know, but I think it is a place. Uh, anyway, right. Any any commenters? Um, no. Okay, clue five. Ready? Okay. Clue five is an entertainment clue. So actor James McAvoy. Do you yep. know who that is? Uh, yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, he's a Glaswegian native, but which UK city was his breakthrough TV series in the mid 2000s set? Um, I don't actually know. I don't actually know either. I know where Glasgow I know that he's is. very handsome, um, but that's about all I know. <laughs> that doesn't really help us, Alex. <laughs> it doesn't help us at all. <laughs> where, where, do, where do handsome, where people, handsome people base people their TV shows? Not, not near Reading. <laughs> 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 All right, so we give them clue number six. Yeah, um, okay. it's, it's another picture clue. All so right. Which UK city is this an aerial view of? Do you know where that is? All right, so if you, I guess if you live in this kind of region, you might be able to work this out. Um, I, 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 I think I recognise <laughs> some, I, I recognise the red building. Question is, do you at home on the stream recognise any of these three buildings? Because that is a major clue. Major clue. I'm gonna. I'm. Uh, you know. With. Uh, you know, Try to tell you where this is. Go on. This. Yeah. Is Bedfordshire. Hundred percent. Right. That's. Yeah. That's. Right. Because that's that, your house, isn't it? That that's, red one that's, there. That's is, rural uh, Bedfordshire. That's the Mercure Hotel. That's your house. 100%. My house is. Is that bit of grass down there? Right. Right. It's a bit, the, of a, bit of a red herring. Total fake news. <laughs> Don't listen to Rory. Do not listen to Rory. He's talking nonsense. Um, but I do think we're getting warmer now. So where do you think it is? Let us know in the comments. Okay, now remember, even if you can't track down the car itself because you can't work out the clues or you can't get there, there are other chances for you to pick up a prize. Earlier in the show, we asked you to guess how many Easter eggs we'd packed into the boot of the Tesla. Here's a photo of the fully loaded boot, and we posted a video onto the Autotrader Instagram, so check it out on our feed if you haven't done so already. Then post your best guess in the comments before the end of the live show on the live stream with the hashtag 
fill your boots. Yes, hashtag fill your boots. After the show, anyone who guesses correctly with the hashtag fill your boots is entered into the prize draw. Even if you don't nail it correctly, we're going to choose the closest person. So send in your comments. Hashtag fill your boots. And while our intrepid sleuths are trying to track down our prize car, here is a game for you to play along with at home or wherever you're watching today. Uh, it is the Auto Trader Wall of Fame. Since Auto Trader launched its website back in 1996, we've sold thousands of cars to people the length and breadth of the UK. In fact, when the business first launched as a magazine, you could list almost anything from houses to aircraft. So whether it's got two wheels, three, four, or wings, we've helped people find a new home for some extraordinary vehicles. Rory and I have picked up some of the most unusual cars ever sold in the marketplace, from vintage and classic cars to customized one-offs. And we're going to try and guess whether each had a higher or lower price than the previous one. And you can play along too. So let's have a look at the first one. Yep, this is higher Ooh. or lower. That is a smart... Smart 4.2. Oh, I'm not a big fan of these cars. What do you that. think of the, uh, the paintwork there? That is, I mean, it's, it's brave. It's brave, I'll give it that. If it's... it was an Aston, I'd really like it, but oh, not on no. a smart. No, I'm not, I'm not a big fan. Um, I'm, how much do you think this is worth? Uh, a couple of grand, three grand. Three grand for a Smart 4.2. Yeah, but, you know. <laughs> I'm going yeah, online to Auto Trader to buy a Smart 4.2 to sell to Alex because I think this car is only worth <laughs> 800 quid, <laughs> if that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, let's okay, see. what do people think? Well, I mean, let's have a look at people. what people are saying. People are saying lower. Lisa people are says, saying nah, higher. it's got to be higher for sure. People are saying higher. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh. Defo, What's higher? higher? Hang on, higher than what you said on mine. Higher, I'm, uh, uh, it has to be mine, because yours is too high, surely. <sighs> Let's reveal it and see what happens. Okay. £1,743. Mm. So even if I bought this, I could still make like a couple of grand pro pro profit off you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, fine. That's okay. fine. Let's... Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Oh, wow. MGTF. This was back in 2003. That look is... Look at the paint. Work. That's special. That's special. Is that that's what's on the back though? Is that someone actually like? It look, look I, I, them. I, they're I, like sculptures of. Um... It's quite. It's like an art car, isn't it? It's quite yeah. good. Can we get some people in the comments letting us know whether they think this is going to be higher priced than the Smart 42 or lower? Higher or lower? What What do you think it is? Uh, I mean, I'm going to go slightly higher. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a 2003 MG TF with an unusual paint job. It kind of depends on, because it's an art car, it kind of depends on what yeah. the artist, artiste. Would you put, drive that? I, would I drive it? Yeah. Absolutely not. Wouldn't Absolutely you? Absolutely not. I love it. I'd spend quite a lot of money on that car. Do you know car. what? You know what? Instead of being an MGTF, this is an MGWTF. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Higher or lower? Higher. Definitely higher. Um, but, higher. Uh, Slightly yeah. higher? Yeah. Yeah, I think. I mean, given that I was going to spend fortunes on my smart car. <laughs> All right, let's let's reveal it. What? Two thousand six hundred thirty-eight pounds. Do you know what? That is okay. two thousand six hundred thirty-eight pounds too much, if you ask me. What? But it, it, is, it is higher. It is, it higher. is higher. Anyone who okay. guessed higher, you did really well. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, let's see the next car. Ooh. Jag E-Type. Two thousand eighteen. Okay, I do like these. Yeah, I do. It's not 2018 though, because they Happy stopped. 18. They stopped making them. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a resto mod of some sort. Um, so maybe the car is old, but the, the, it was re-released in, in 2018. I like that. I think I'd look good in that. I think these are overrated. Let me know in the comments if you think Jaguar E-types are overrated, because a lot of people say they're the most beautiful car in the world. No, I, I didn't say that. You, I, I think that they're, they're highly overrated. But um, yeah, uh, people are sending in stunning car, higher, dream Got car. To be higher. Yeah, it's, I mean, it has it, to be higher than the MG TF, surely. It's definitely not, not going to be your dream car. Okay, let's have a look. All right, what's the price? I say higher. Wow! £259,950. I, I don't think I'd pay that for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so someone says agree with Rory, overrated, lower. I don't think it's lower, but definitely overrated. Very cool. Let's see the next car. 
nine grand. Okay. Oh, nice. oh is, wow. This is, this is more up my street. Okay, Range Rover Sport. What, in purple? 2020. It looks like it's been lowered as well. Um, purple, I wouldn't go purple personally. Is it going to be higher or lower, lower. than the Jaguar? Lower. Like? Lower, mm, okay. But is it, it, is it an SVR? Is it an SVR? And have they, like, put gold in it? We'll see. Okay, let's have a look. I'll go lower as well. Let's see it. Lower. Okay. 18,995. Yeah, okay. Not okay. Bad. All right. People, people got that right mostly. People were saying lower, maybe the same, not the same at all. I can't quite decide about the purple. Again, see, I think the purple would work on a, on a completely different car. I hear you. Have we got another car to show them? Oh, right. oh my God! There's a lot of purplish going on, isn't there? Right, what so this is uh, Austin Mini from 1998 with a wide body kit. Wow, I oh, mean, yeah. totally, totally unnecessary. Uh, would you drive that? No. People are loving their iridescent paint, aren't they? Okay, let's get your guesses in, please, people. No, I won't. higher or lower? We got a couple of hires. Um, hang got, on, what got was the to last be lower, one? Surely, eighteen nine nine five. I don't no know. No way, it's higher. I think. I think it might be. I think it might be slightly higher. Why? Why would this be higher? I don't know. Just for the novelty. I mean, I don't know. Well, it's kind of old, right? So 1988. So Austin Mini. It's a cool car. The base car is going to be lower, but yeah. because they put the wide body kit on it, someone will have spent, I think, about mm, five grand on that. Yeah, kit. agreed. So I, I would, I would say about fifteen grand personally. And they must have pimped the inside as well. Yeah, it might have like speakers and all that stuff. Someone's mm. saying much lower. Got a couple of other people saying lower, lower, lower. This person says higher. Um, mm. Interesting. I don't know. Okay, let's let's reveal it and see what happens. I'm going lower. I'm going. Yes, oh, eleven okay. nine nine five. I wasn't far off. I said about fifteen, and it's twelve. So mm. Mm. let's okay. do one more. Let's yes. do one more. Oh, oh my word! Okay, Mercedes <laughs> Benz A Class colors. 2016. So this looks to me doesn't say it there, but it looks to me like an A45, unless it's just a basic A Class that they've um, put the. Jing has uh, got a pink fluffy steering wheel. A45 uh, front and rear, uh, front bumper and rear spoiler on, black wheels. Do you know what? This is a bit of me, you know. In the pink as I, well. I, yeah, I'm I'm fully down. I'd with love this. to see you in that. I am fully down with, it. and they've got <laughs> they put on the pink headlights as well. It's kind of growing on me. I'm all weirdly. over this. I promise you. I'd yeah. really like to see you in it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think not only is it higher than the uh, Mini. Yeah. It's also higher than the Range Rover. What really? Yeah, definitely. Really? And yeah, 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 hundred percent. Oh, that's assuming it's an A45. I think it's an A45. Um, okay, so give me a figure. Uh, oh, it's low mileage as well. Um, I'm going to go, I'm not going to give you an exact, yeah, I'll give you a figure. I'm going to say that is 20, 22, 25,000. Mm, so, so higher. Yeah. What do you say? What do you say? Eight. <laughs> Rangey was what, 18, was it? Yeah. Oh, Mini was go. 12. Okay. I'm going to go 20. 20 grand. Okay. Mm. All right, I'm going higher than you. I'm going higher than the two previous cars. Let's reveal the answer. 16. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, well, I was closer. You, you were closer. Do you know what? It's not a real A45 then. That's what it is. It must be like a A whatever it is. You're a bad loser. <laughs> not a bad loser. <laughs> I do want that car, though. That's quite good. Do what? you actually? I do. I promise you. I really would like to see you in it. I think that. Does anyone have any comments on that? Yeah, lower. It's ugly. People think it's grim. Okay. okay, right. Should we do one more? Yes. Let's get another, another one. Another one. Oi! This is an Oakley Supremacy. Oh, yes. Okay. 20. Have I, you ever driven an Oakley Supremacy? I haven't driven an Oakley Supremacy, but I have driven big bands like that. And I, the other day, I actually spent some time on Auto Trader after our, after our, I can't remember what we were doing. But anyway. Um, we'll be out raving. We were <laughs> after our night out raving. <laughs> I found myself <laughs> just browsing, <laughs> browsing lorries and vans. Yes, <laughs> we do. I we do. You. We do actually sell a load of. Um, sorry, not a load. I, I'm belittling it slightly, but we do sell uh, vans. We sell farm equipment. We sell all manner of interesting non-car related. Uh, vehicles on the site, including e-bikes. So um, it is very interesting when you start browsing it and really getting like, deep into the. Into I'd the really like an old school camper. Yeah. Um, I, feel, I quite like the idea of turning into a real hippie. Anyway, right. 
Uh, no one needs to know. Just get, guess the price on this okay. one. Okay, right. So, hang on, what was the last one? 16. Uh, Something about, like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is definitely more. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go uh, 25,000. I'm going to go higher. I reckon that's been pimped inside as well. Okay. Um, well, higher than 25. 30. Yeah, 30. but I need to win. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Let's reveal the answer. 32. 32. Okay, I went 25. 550,000 pounds. <laughs> For the Oakley Supremacy. Okay, well then they've got to have done all sorts of cool stuff inside, and there's basically a car in the back of it. Do you know what? I was yes. If I if I was able to buy this for twenty five grand, yeah, that would be a, a, a bargain. But yeah, you're right. It looks beautiful. You could use this if you had a um, a band and you wanted to go on tour. Which uh, you know, which is, it might be it might belong to someone famous. You never know. For 550 grand, you'd hope so. You'd hope that that's what you're buying. Mileage is really low as well. Five grand? Well, what, the band wasn't doing well, that's for sure. All right, so we got some comments coming in. Uh, somebody says, can I get an auto trader sweatshirt like Rory's? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can. Drop, drop me a DM. Can on, I? Because I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drop me a DM <laughs> on Instagram and we'll, 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 we'll sort it I'm out for do that you. now. Uh, somebody says, when is season two of Show on the Road podcast? Yay! It starts coming out in July. We've got amazing guests as well. I'm so excited. Can you reveal I, any guests? No, I don't think I can. Oh, Go can on, I? give me one. Give me one. Give me one. Uh, can I really? Okay. Yes. Um, Who are you most excited about? Roman Kemp. Roman Kemp? Where, guess, where does right? Roman Kemp live? Uh, is he next to the Tesla? He is... No, he's not. He's about about a three-hour drive from the Tesla. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, somebody says, um, this is so jokes. <laughs> We're having fun. <laughs> Wish I was in the studio with Alex and Rory. How's oh. the car hunt going? Um, I don't know. We're, we're about to find out. There might be no one Love having Rory any Alex's idea. Love mugs. Right. Yes. So do I, apart from the fact that Rory's has coffee in it and mine has nothing in it. Before we came into the studio, I brought an R and an A mug um, and I didn't, I didn't fill it up. I just, I thought it looked cool. <laughs> do you know what? Do you know what these are from? These are from, we've got a load of mugs and they all spell out Auto Trader with different letters. So um, I went and stole an R mug, which I'm, I'm going to take home with me. Um, and Alex has got an A mug. Yeah. What are people saying? I think I know where it is. I'm on my way. Good. That's cool. Good. And when Good. you get there, when you get there, get out the Auto Trader valuation tool, put the reg number in, put the mileage in, and then you might be able to win the car. By the way, and Rory's jumper. I by, by the way, this is the key, right? This is a major, major clue. If you know, you know. This is the key right here. Ooh. Do you know what? Actually, 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 if you get to the if you get to the location, there's not much point because we haven't really given you a clue as to the mileage yet. So yeah, you but know. I'd still be on my way if I were you. Okay, fair enough. You know, but, you can, if you as long as you're not watching while you're driving. If you're on your way, stay tuned. Don't be like watching while you drive or anything. Be on a train or whatever, and then when you get there, keep an eye out for the mileage, and that will help you win the car. Someone's asked, how have you lot figured out the location? That's a clever question. Mm. How much of that are you going to give away? I'll say nothing. I'll say nothing. Right. So if you've joined us in the last few minutes, then here is what you need to know to get up to speed. Absolutely. So we've hidden a Tesla Model Y in a secret location somewhere in the UK. Our viewers have been guessing where it might be. Lots yeah, of these little... yellow dots all over the place, all right? It could be here, it could be here, it could be there, not quite sure. Mm -hmm. Why have we done this? Here's a video that explains all. We've hidden a Tesla Model Y somewhere in the UK, ready to be won. All you need to do is find it and work out the car's auto trader valuation. But don't worry, we'll help you with that second bit. This is the Auto Trader Ultimate Car Hunt Live. As you crack puzzles and play games, we'll reveal the three key pieces of information that you need to win the car. The mileage, its registration plate, and its location. When you've got all that, enter the information into the Auto Trader Valuation Tool to find out the car's current value. That is your ticket to win the Tesla. Then, get to the location, tell us the value live on air, and we'll give you the keys. But that's not all, because there are over £5,000 of additional prizes to be won, so even if you can't make it to the car, you could still be a winner. This is the Auto Trader Ultimate Car Hunt Live. 
I look like a drowned rat in that VT. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit windy. It was a bit windy. We were looking around for places to stash this car and also film that little VT for you. And, and it uh, was chucking it down. Yeah, it's very sideways as well. Um, but you looked all right. You looked, mm. you looked fine. Needs, needs a filter on it. <laughs> uh, anyway, so stay tuned because we've got more clues coming right up and even more goodies that you can win throughout the show. One way that you can win is by entering the prize draw by heading over to the AutoTrader website right now. Yes, sir. If you don't have an account, set one up and log in and then when you can, complete evaluation for your car. Forward your confirmation email to us at livestream at autotrader.co.uk and we'll enter you into the draw. But remember, it has to be via the website and not via the app. Good, right. Now, we don't know when our first person is gonna arrive at this car, but we've given out a lot of clues so we could have our first potential contestant on site very, very soon. There's a yes. few people kind of getting close. Well, I'm going to head over, actually, yeah? to the secret location now. Okay. Um, so then we can bring you all the action as we get closer to finding a winner. Okay, off you pop then. Okay. All right, now remember that even if you haven't found the car, uh, you, you need the reg plate, okay? And the mileage, and, that, and that's going to help you to get an auto trade evaluation and then we haven't given those details out quite yet. But now, it's time for our third and final part of our Tesla Clues video. Earlier on, we covered up some of the car's top features and um, explained why this makes for an outstanding price. Uh, make sure that you keep a close eye on the action because we've got some very, very big clues coming up. Key in here? Yeah, it's there. Right, I am off. Go on, I'll see you in a bit. See ya. Okay, let's have a proper look around the car that you could be driving away with very soon. Now, some people might look at this and say that it resembles a Tesla Model 3 that's been stretched up slightly in Photoshop, and I can definitely see that, but proportionally, for me, this car works a lot better than a Model 3, and that's despite the fact that it shares quite a few Model 3 specific parts, although the lights on this car are different to the latest version of the 3. For me, the profile is the best looking side of this car. I particularly like these really strong creases along the rear haunches. You've got quite big wheel arches and it rides quite high, but the 19 or 20 inch wheels really do fit the arches quite well. My favorite bit though, I've got to say, are these black bits that surround the window, plus the black bits on the cameras, and also the black door handles, which pop out like an automotive Pop-Tart. I think there's a Kellogg's factory around here somewhere, now I think about it. Quite hungry. Around the back, I quite like the fact that it's got this sloping roof line, makes it look a bit like a coupe, sort of. I also like the fact it's a hatchback, which means it opens up really wide. You get a massive boot as well, although I'm not too sure about this enormous swathe of black plastic at the bottom, which looks a bit like a, a nappy, although I suppose you'd be quite grateful of that if you crash a shopping trolley into it. Do you know what? I probably shouldn't have said it looks like a nappy. I'm a serious car reviewer. Got to keep things serious. That wasn't me. <laughs> Was that you? I'd forgotten how much cool stuff there was in here. I played some games, watched a bit of Coronation Street, I trolled the crew, I watched the crew setting up, and I even used the Tesla app to send my destination to the sat-nav. Speaking of which, time to get this car to the actual destination. It's about 160 miles away. So, I'm on my way to the secret location right now. Can't believe someone is actually gonna drive away in this exact car today. It's a proper cool prize, right? I mean, it was only registered at the end of 2023, but it still feels absolutely brand spanking new. It's only got, what, how many miles? Oh, look, there's Beetham Tower. Only a few miles left to go. Hopefully, there won't be a queue in the car park, although there will definitely be a queue in the car park.
Okay, that was a lot of information, not just about how great the car is, but we've also dropped some heavy, heavy clues about where you might be able to find it. Nice little aerial shot at the end there. And for the uh, eagle-eyed viewers out there, yeah, you might have also spotted a crucial glimpse of the mileage information. But remember, I still needed to drive the Tesla to its final destination. What was that? Maybe 160 miles or so? Right, more on this stream later on. So, what do we know so far? Here's a recap of the clues. Earlier on, we established that the location is in one of the cities connected by the TransPennine M62 motorway. This aerial view provides yet another clue to the location. And we had a couple of entertainment clues as well. Actor James McAvoy is a Glasgow native, but which UK city was his breakthrough TV series in the mid 2000s set? And there was this pixelated image that you might be able to decode. Meanwhile, our viewers are suggesting some locations that we've pinned on the map. Um, so yeah, all over the place really. We've got a huge clump up here around this sort of area, which uh, I don't know if it's a clue, a few down here. It's all getting a bit spicy. Do we think any of these are getting warm? Let's have a few more clues. Clue seven, another cryptic one. If you don't know where to begin, you might find our car on the first street you start looking, the first street you start looking. What could this mean? Your eighth clue is another picture. You'd be pretty warm if you were standing at this point. Standing at this point. If you were standing here, you'd be pretty warm. And here is one more clue. Here's a question for you. Do you recognize this view? Do you recognize this view? Okay. So this to me looks like it's a, it's a rooftop, obviously. We've got some black spaces, which might hint um, at something else. So you might suggest that this might be a, a car park of some sort, um, nice and high, not an underground car park necessarily, it goes up. Uh, it's got a nice skyline around it with some pretty distinctive buildings. Interesting, interesting. I'm, I'm throwing a lot of information at you and I'm hoping, I'm hoping you're picking it up. I think we're getting close now. So hopefully I've given you enough clues. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna check in with Alex who should, should now be standing beside the star car. Yes, I am. I'm here. That was a very quick dash uh, from the studio to the car. Now, there is no sign yet of anyone, but we are expecting our first arrival very soon. And as you can see, I'm standing next to the Tesla. And what a stunning car it is. While we're waiting for our potential winner, let's have another game. Caption this. Okay, so here we go. Another chance of all of you watching the live show to win some more of our top spot prizes. Um, remember, there's over £5,000 worth of prizes to be won. We're going to be showing you an image, and all you need to do is send us your funniest captions in the comments. So get them rolling in because we're going to be randomly giving away 50 pounds worth of Amazon vouchers to 15 lucky winners. And we'll be in touch after the live show to tell you how you can claim your prize and how we'll contact winners to claim their prize will differ depending on which platform you're actually watching today's live stream on. Now we've posted the relevant info uh, for your channel. So you need what to do. Bear in mind, we will read out some of the comments that catch our eye on the show. But that doesn't mean you're a winner, all right? As I said, we'll be randomly giving away the vouchers to 15 lucky winners after the live show. So, let's check in with some of our viewer comments. I love it. Someone's saying, I'm definitely in the wrong car park. Brilliant. <laughs> Which car park are you in then, I wonder? Um, what else have we got? Oh, more people just talking about the live stream. That's brilliant. When you wanted a Tesla and you got the Timu version. <laughs> oh, I thought when I came across downstairs as well that there were people uh, 
sort of looking like they were hovering, not knowing what was going on, uh, like they potentially might think they're in the location, but maybe not. That's reassuring. I think that means there will be someone that will be up very shortly. Um, what else? Simon says, hands on your head. All right. I can't. I'm holding a very expensive laptop that I'm scared of dropping. Um, there goes mum's pension. Brilliant. Game of Tesla. Love it. Um, what other comments have you got? If I stick a feather on it, will it fly? Brilliant. Uh, flying off the handle. Good comment. The flying knight. This is good. There's lots coming in. Not quite the Easter bunny I hope for. <laughs> Open sesame. Come on, I think you should give us more. It, that, that is Rory, isn't it, standing there? Yeah, it is. Right, I think we can have some more. Can we give Rory some more abuse? On that, on the captions. When does this turn into a bumblebee? Someone says. Oh no, it's in flight mode. God, it's a nice car, isn't it? Doesn't, doesn't that look cool? You know, obviously, I'd rather have the Tesla. What do you think? Um, now, if you've been with us since we went live at midday, then you'll definitely be clued up by now, surely. And if you've just joined, here is a recap of the events so far. So at 12 o'clock, we launched Auto Traders Ultimate Car Hunt live, a one-off Easter egg hunt with a difference. So we're giving one lucky viewer the chance to drive away in this, this fabulous Tesla Model Y. Um, and we've been giving viewers the chance to enter into our mega Easter prize draw. So even if you don't win the Tesla, it's still worth sticking around for. And to win the car, you would need to solve the clues that we've been giving out throughout the stream and arrive at the car's location. You then need to enter the registration plate and the exact mileage into the auto trader valuation tool. All right. Now, this will give you a current valuation for the Tesla as of today. Rory's here. Hello. Hi. <laughs> now, the first person to turn up to provide the correct valuation wins the car. How are you? I'm all right. I've just, I've just uh, sprinted across. Um, should quick we have a quick, quick rundown of the, the rules that, you know, that we're, we're giving away throughout the show, uh, including those in my three-part review of the Tesla? So the first ones were, I'm going to throw out some images as well. If you were south of Windermere, or north of Coventry, you could make it to our car's location in the next two hours, okay? Mm -hmm. Starting from Marble Arch in central London, your passengers could watch the whole of Zack Snyder's Justice League before arriving at my secret location. The third one, if I saw this road sign, where might I be heading? And then we had a couple of entertainment clues as well. Firstly, this pixelated image. Check that out, M26, M M62. And then after that, actor James McAvoy is a Glasgow native, but which UK city was his breakthrough TV series in the mid-2000s set? And then we asked you, which UK city is this an aerial view of? Do you recognize it? Do you recognize it? I'll give you... I I, 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 we, might, we might be in the image. We're definitely in the image. In fact... <laughs> I can, that, I can see me. I can see, yeah, yeah. That gap there, I can see you and I standing in. Okay. We might be in the image. That is a huge clue. We might be in the image. And then for our third batch, we had a cryptic clue. If you don't know where to begin, you might find your car on the first street you start looking. What does that mean? The first street you start looking. Followed by another picture clue. You'd be pretty warm. We're not warm today. If you were standing at this point. Ooh. All right, this would be, oh, yeah, okay. you'd, you'd be quite hot, actually. You'd, you'd be very hot, <laughs> and you might be able to see... A glimpse of us. A, glim a glimpse of the you'd be, back you'd be, of the... Maybe, 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 perhaps, perhaps. But finally, do you recognize this view? Okay. This looks quite familiar, actually. Yeah, <laughs> we, ooh, we might be here. Suspiciously <laughs> very familiar. <laughs> now, if you were watching our Tesla clues video closely, then you might have spotted a few clues here as well. And while you watch that, uh, 
Just keep in mind, keep in mind that all the clues will help you find the car. There was a funny caption, this, that you missed earlier. What was it? Some quite entertaining. You know, there was you standing with your hands on your head looking at the... the um, Tesla clues. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to let you know. All right. Uh, anyway, right. Let's, let's, okay. run a, let's run a video with the clues. <laughs> you can take it somewhere nice to celebrate, like um, Greg's or the Ivy. Best-selling car in the world, full stop, last year. People went mad for it. Let's talk about what an absolute thriller this car is to drive. It's incredibly quick. The thing, don't stop till you get enough. Tesla reckon this thing can go 331 miles on a full battery. That's the distance from Edinburgh to Birmingham. You might love it or you might think it's a bit bobbins, but it's always interesting at least. It's a bit like listening to the Bee Gees for the first time. You're like, ah? You might even love feeling like you're sitting on a bass speaker at Creamfields, like you're zipping around like a worker bee, as tall as the Angel of the North. Good size seat pockets where you can put your Oasis vinyl in. These large cubby holes either side and the rear bench, which splits into three parts. More than 4,000 standard size bottles of pop if you poured out the contents. Let's have a proper look around the car that you could be driving away with very soon. I think there's a Kellogg's factory around here somewhere, now I think about it. Watched a bit of Coronation Street, the nation to the sat -nav. Speaking of which, time to get this car to the actual destination. It's about 160 miles away. I mean, it was only registered at the end of 2023, but it still feels absolutely brand spanking new. It's only got, what, how many miles? Oh, look, there's Beetham Tower. Although there will definitely be a queue in the car park. Okay. Earlier, we asked you to pose some yes, no questions. So uh, let's take a look at some of those coming through right now. Right, does the mileage start with a number seven? Uh, no. No, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> uh, does the registration plate start with J? Hmm. No. No. Uh, is the car parked in the north of the UK? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Has it done less than 5,000 miles? Mm. I can't remember. No. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> Should I have a quick look? I think <laughs> no, 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 it hasn't. It's done less than 5,000. It's pretty No, it hasn't done less than 5,000. No, it hasn't done more than that. It's done, okay, it's done more than 5,000. Okay, right, okay. <laughs> Is the mileage four digits? No. Uh, Does the postcode start with the letter M? It must yes, do. yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes. We're really good yes, at this stream, aren't we? <laughs> Basically. I'm, try, I'm trying not to give away too much information, but um, but yeah, it's fine. You've done well. You've done well. I think, I think, we I think you've, got, you've got enough. <laughs> right, so where do you think this fabulous car is? We've had a lot of guesses around the Manchester area. So if you're living more than half an hour away from the city... You might just want to sit this one out and enter our prize drawers instead. Um, of course, you can find the car, but you cannot win it without the other two pieces of information. Um, these should help you put the final pieces of the puzzle together. Take a look at this image and see if you can decode it. Right. All right. All right. So we got um, an iconic silhouette <laughs> of uh, a man doing a little little uh, Michael Jackson dance. Mm -hmm. um, that is a, a car of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> what, year, what year car is that? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> but also, I don't want to I don't, I don't give it away. What does, that's what does the P parking stand for? Um, it does. I mean, it's, it, is that it, car it park? It is what it is. Yeah. And you've got, we've got NY. Uh, that's the New York. Is that New York, New York Yankees? Yankees? Is the N significant? Is the Y? Is the Y, is the y significant? Why not? Why not? Why, not? why would it be? Uh, why would it be? Why? Why? It be? Why? And then we've got a um, a peace sign, uh, which, which is, is not a two. It's not a two. No. It's in the shape of a. Is that a, a V? 
Mm. Could be. Mm. Interesting. It might have a it might have a, a custom number plate as well. This is true, but it doesn't. So if I were to break this down, I would say Michael Jackson car park NY piece. Yeah. But is that what does that mean? It's what, not, that's not a number. That's not the number plate. <laughs> somewhere within that cryptic clue is the number plate. And uh, if you are an MI5 code cracker, you might be able to decode it. <laughs> Would and you I, be able to? No, I'd be pretty. I'd be. I mean, I mean, if I if I was going to help people out, I might say Michael Jackson might be initials of some sort. So maybe, yeah. maybe we could go M at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to help people out here, but then beyond that, it's kind of tough. Beyond that, you're screwed. It's kind of tough. <laughs> <laughs> so the final piece. Well, should, we give him, should we give him, give, him, give him another clue? Okay, well, the car is an Austin Allegro. Okay, all right. So, would that help Is that you? helpful? Is that helpful? <laughs> what, what year was the Austin Allegro made? Jump on Wikipedia or something and find out the, yes. the years that the Austin Allegro was made. Maybe it was the first year, maybe it was the last year. Not really sure. M, Michael Jackson, Austin Allegro, you know. <laughs> Parking Yankee Yankee piece V? Why? Don't know Take your time Work it out And the uh, final piece of information you need Is the exact mileage on the Tesla I can tell you That the mileage is a prime number Above 5,000 Well, we, how good are your prime numbers, Rory? I mean, it could be, it could be anything, really <laughs> it could be Literally anything did you, What did you study in school? It, uh... But everything. <laughs> Did you study numbers? Actually, maths was the one thing I had to redo at college. <laughs> <laughs> and then I only scraped a D. <laughs> so whatever Alex says, um, don't listen. Don't to. listen. I did computer science, so uh, which does involve a lot of numbers. And no wonder you're such a geek. Um, but I don't think I'd be able to help out with this. But it's a prime number above, uh, above 5,000. 5, and if you were paying attention throughout all of our clues, then this should should help you narrow it down just a little bit i'm hoping it is because uh if you found the location and you haven't found the mileage then you've traveled with it all this way for no reason now you would also see this number if you were taking an air lingus flight from dublin to madrid Ooh, air well, that's an easy one to to google dublin flight from dublin to madrid i mean i don't actually just know that obviously but what does that mean is that is that the cost of the ticket is it, the, is it the airline oh, flight number? Yeah, I assumed it was the flight number. Okay. So what you could do now, jump on Google and search for Aer Lingus Dublin to Madrid. Are there any numbers that are popping up as a result of that Google search? Aer Lingus. Is Dublin. anything popping up that is interesting that might narrow it down? Remember, we've told you, prime number above 5,000 and also Aer Lingus flight from Dublin to, to Madrid. Madrid. Okay. Alex is Googling right, feverishly right now. Aer Lingus. Ooh. Okay, interesting. Okay. And also, the same digits that oh. appear in the year that Bohemian Rhapsody was released as a single. But not necessarily in the same order. Bohemian Rhapsody. Shall I give that clue? No. Okay. They can Google. They don't, come on, let's not make it too easy. Right, let's not make right. it too, it's a whole car. We're giving away a <laughs> Tesla worth tens of thousands of pounds here. See if you can work it out. Okay, I think that's, that's kind of everything you need to know, really. And we expect to see people arriving here based on the clues that we've given away pretty imminently. I, I'm, at least I'm hoping that people will be arriving pretty imminently. Well, Otherwise, certainly when I came across from, from the studio to said secret location, there were definitely people downstairs on their phones trying to get this information that interesting. we're giving away now. So we do have people... Uh, yeah, there definitely are quite a few people. It's a, question, it's a question of whether those people actually have the right information when they reach us to win the car. If you're making your way to where you think the car is, please do so safely and sensibly, all right? No looking at your phone while crossing the road, no driving while looking at the live stream. Do it safely. And, um, yeah, hopefully you get lucky. It's exciting. Imagine if you were in the car buzzing your way up here now. Oh man, I'll be, oh, I'll be so, I'll be so stoked. It'd be good, wouldn't it? And also, um, how about while we're waiting for our potential winner, we play another game. Okay, of keep or sell. Can we do that one? Yep, let's do it. Okay, all right. Okey dokes. So, 
Would you rather keep the Tesla Model Y or sell it for the auto trader valuation? Interesting. Well, we don't... We <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, okay. No, no, no. Right. Let's do another car. Let's yeah. do another car. <laughs> Let's do the one that's up on the screen, <laughs> shall we? Okay, the Porsche 911. Oh. Cabriolet. Right, would you, would you keep or, or sell? Or sell it for 101570 oh. So this is basically, if God, you've got... I really like that. If you've got a, um, a 911 Cabriolet, we would offer you £101,570. Would you keep the car or trade it in for do? the money? Oh, oh man do you know what I've, I've always i've always wanted i've i, I have not owned a 911 yet but so i'd probably keep it got some comments coming in i would keep it that is beautiful and i really like the color actually defo keep yeah Someone says nah sell 100%. i'd get loads yeah well you would you get 101,000 pounds um 100 keep sell oh, for shoot. sure no way would i sell not practical. Not practical. Yeah, but you're never going to buy one of those for practicality, are it's you? Got, it's actually got four seats. It's got four seats. Yeah. Okay. All right. You I can think, do all sorts of, you know. I think I'll keep it. Um, let's do another one. Throw up another car for us. That'd have ice, ice fix in it as well. You know, it's sorted basically. All right. BMW all right. M4 in a what? I mean, in a rancid lime green. <laughs> I think that's Vegas yellow. Oh, okay. Um, so, would you keep the M4 coupe? Uh, or would you sell it for £54,180? That is the price we would offer you if you had this car and you got a valuation on Auto Trader. Fifty-four sell grand. It. Sell it. Sell it, yeah. Interesting. Uh, do you know what? They are really good cars. They're really good cars. They are yes, really... I agree with that. So I'd be quite tempted to I'd... keep it. Oh, okay. Maybe I'd sell... Uh, maybe I'd just use some money... To, to change the paintwork. <laughs> okay, so we got some comments coming in. Someone says, looks like a lime cell. Yeah. Someone else says, keep, definitely. Keep Just and change colour. Yeah, people are agreeing with me. Yeah. Do you know what? When these cars first came out, people weren't really feeling the front grille. How do you feel about the grille on these now? Uh, they've grown on me. Yeah, in a good way? Yeah, in yeah? a good way. Okay. I've, I kind of get that. A lot of people say that about BMW's new design language. They hate it when they first see it, but then it kind of like grows over time and people yeah. start to appreciate it. And that's, that's kind of what that is, this M M4's done for me. So yeah. I might keep it. Let's do one more. Okay. Oh, the Amira. Oh, it's Amira. Oh. Right, so how? Because so one was just under seventy grand. Mm. So this is a good amount of money. Oh, keep or sell? Uh, keep or sell? And that's two. Well, like, is that two seater? Yeah. A two tiny. No, I think just I think it's just two from memory. Yeah. The most practical of cars. No, drives drives well. Oh, Beautiful so car. So sexy. Yeah. And the colours, awesome. I think I'd have to keep it. Would you? Yeah, because then I could just you know keep my golf and my run around. Mm. And also, this is the last petrol Lotus that they will ever make. Yeah, They're going electric now, so that could be a bit of a classic in time. It will have a bit of meaning, so maybe keep. keep. But if, if for some reason you you've doing? bought, um, if you bought a Lotus Amira and you wanted to sell it through Auto Trader, that is the price we'd give you for that particular car. Keep dream car. Yeah, agreed. Keep sure. Sell, not practical. Defo, sell, and get an EV. Interesting. Okay. Keep the Lotus that looks epic. Yeah. God, yeah. I'd really like one of those. That would be really nice. No, they're brilliant to drive. Little quick plug as well for our YouTube channel. If you want to find a review of uh, all these cars, check out our YouTube. It's all, we, uh, it's, all, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, my God. We have a contestant on site. Oh, my gosh. Someone's here. Um, someone is here. <laughs> How exciting. The, the clues have worked. So they found the location. Oh God, I hope they've got the valuation right and stuff. Okay, so uh, we've so got... I'm hoping our cameraman will be picking them up very shortly. Okay, yeah, we do have a cameraman, and they are trying to find this person to guide them to our location. So at any moment, Ding. they should be arriving next to us. Hopefully, they've been paying attention throughout this all. Ah, they're coming up the lift. Look, look, look. Oh, yeah, here he goes. <gasps> No. Okay, a real life human being is coming out of the lift as we speak. He has been tuned in to the live stream. This person has been on the live stream. And is, it is, it is it a girl? Oh, I no, can't see. I don't know. Oh, no, come on. Come, come on. Oh, the suspense <laughs> is literally killing me. But an, an actual person has been tuning in. An actual human being. <laughs>
This is really exciting. Oh man, I'm super stoked. Come on, come on, come in. Come, come. Yeah. Oh, I really hope. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> come join Hello. us. Come join us. Nice cap. Hello, sir. What's Hello. Come in, come in. What's your name? I'm Will. Hi, uh, Will. Hello, Will. Where have you come from today? Uh, from Manchester. I've come from work near the uh, Science and Industry Museum, so just oh, on the, the corner. That was useful. Yeah, really useful. <laughs> have you been tuned in to the live stream? Tuned in, yeah, from the start. What was it that, so that sort of gave you the final... The, the first thing I noticed was the Greggs and the Ivy. I was like, that's around the corner from me. And then the, uh, the last thing was uh, the aerial image of home. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. <gasps> oh, my nice. God. What car do you currently drive? Ford Fiesta. So this is a bit Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Got to fail at MOT soon as well. So this is a uh, good timing. First impressions? It looks bigger in real life than on the stream. But, yeah, very nice. Better than my Fiesta anyway. And do, do me a favor, Alex. Have yes. you got the key on you? Oh yeah. I just I just want to I just want to Sorry, oh, I forgot your name instantly. What was it? Will. Will. Okay, I just want to show Will. This is the key for the Tesla. Oh, um and I'm I'm hoping No, don't give it to him. Take oh. it back. Take that back. Take that back. <laughs> we don't we don't know if he's got it yet. All right. So Yes, this just, is true. We're tantalizing you with Do the key. you do you think you have the info that you need? Do you have the valuation? Oh, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. 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 So what Will was asked to do was to go to the Auto Trader website, bring up the valuation tool, enter the registration number and the mileage, and then he should get a valuation on his phone. And if that valuation is correct, he will win this Tesla Model Y. <laughs> will tell us the valuation? Is it thirty-nine thousand nine hundred twenty? I can reveal, Will. That is absolutely correct. £39,920. <laughs> the Tesla Y is yours. Congratulations. Yay. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, my God. Congratulations. Best lunch break in the world. <laughs> you just want a car. You sold Taking the afternoon of off. Sorry, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the pub. Yeah, Michelle's your boss, right? Yeah, I hope she's not watching. Yeah, listen, Michelle, forget you. It's all about the auto trader and the Tesla Model Y. Will, jump into the car, mate. Honestly, it's yours. Oh, my word. How crazy that is that? is incredible. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. the right answer. Congratulations, Will. Oh, my God. Huge congratulations. Yeah. Oh, he's very happy. That's a big old smile, isn't it? <laughs> Will has won Auto Trader's Ultimate Car Hunt Live. I'm so excited for him. Listen, thank you to everybody who's joined us and taken part today. Congratulations to everyone who won a prize during the show. Congratulations to this young gentleman who's just won a brand new Tesla Model Y. Make sure you follow us on our socials. And if you didn't win the Tesla today, then don't worry. Don't forget to enter our monthly electric car giveaway to be in for a chance of winning a brand new electric vehicle. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. guys. See Bye.